James here. Today we're taking a look at the Tezar TK63 Mechanical Keyboard. Uh, guys, this mechanical keyboard is wireless or wired, however you want to use it. Now, you do have the option of Bluetooth, uh, you do have the option of wireless, or you have the option of wired. Yes, that's right. So you can use a, uh, the, the USB cable, uh, you could use the 2.4 gigahertz signal, or you can use the Bluetooth uh, connection any way you want about it. Now, the cool thing is, is it does have this new, uh, their Gatrion optical switch. The Gatrion optical switch is a IPX4 water resistant. Uh, they claim waterproof, but IPX4 is water resistant. So it won't get hurt by water, but you may want to just be slightly careful. Uh, it is hot swappable, so you can remove them. You can take them out, you can adjust them, and you can actually uh, change it a whole bunch. Now, a couple other cool things is is this R is RGB, guys. So you do have 15 preset and lighting effects. You have five brightness levels. You have five adjustable, breathable speeds. And then you have their software, which can actually be customizable and change it to the colors you want with that software. Now, we're going to pop this open. We're going to give you guys your first look at this of course, in my first look of it. And it's actually quite cool. It's a very, very small keyboard, but I'm going to kind of do a couple things first. The first thing is, guys, they give you this little book, just in case you take it apart. It'll show you how the keys go back on, right? Well, maybe, but a couple other cool things is on the back, it actually tells you the window control, uh, the Windows combination keys. Now, I was not expecting this, so it does have some very special key combinations for you uh, if you need. It actually does a whole bunch of other stuff. Now, I did not expect that. Now, they have one for Windows, and they have one for Mac OS. So, they do have both of those, guys. If you need, uh, they have that there. That's cool. Now, they do have this nice little uh, thank you card, and then they have a uh, user manual, if you need the user manual besides that other manual. Now, let's get into some other stuff that it does come with, and I'll kind of show you some of this stuff. Here. First is the cable. The cable looks very nice, and I actually like this. Uh, it looks USB-C to USB. I love that that they did that, but the best part is, is look at that angle. That is your USB-C side. It is angled to hide the cable. I love that. So it's not just sticking straight out. You have your USB to USB-C. It's not a braided cable. It is a rubberized cable, but it does have the cable strap there. You then have your removal tools. These removal tools are for taking out the keys off the keyboard because uh, they do say it's hot swappable. So this one will take off your key cap and this one will take out your keys itself. Uh, we'll kind of hopefully maybe show you guys that. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not sure yet. So then you have the Tesla T63. So T63 means it's missing keys. Uh, that's on purpose. You don't have the number pad. You don't have a whole bunch of other keys like your function keys. Uh, the function keys are double keyed up in this. Now, let me see, uh, since I'm staring at this for the first time, there is your little dongle. That little dongle is your 2.4 gigahertz dongle. You will connect up to the PC. Now, also, uh, here is your power switch right there. Uh, your power switch turns it on, and that's where you're going to start seeing this very beautiful coloration. Look at that coloration, guys. That's awesome. I love that coloration. It actually looks very nice of the layering of the keys. Now, it did shut off because I did tap it. Now, I'm going to check one thing because I did. Oh, okay, there it is. There is your USB-C port right there to plug it in if you want to go plug in. Now, you probably want to see what it looks like without a keycap on. So let's grab the keycap puller. Um, you know what? Let's just grab a keycap puller, right? I don't really need a keycap for the space bar, so we're going to just pop the space bar off. So there is your keycap puller. You'll see the key in the middle. That is your key right there. To pull that out, you will use the puller, guys. You'll have to connect it on, pull it in, and then pull straight out. It will pull out this key. I'm not doing that right now because I don't want to, I don't have spare keys to replace them right now. But that's how you do it. And then keycap puller, guys. Just keycap puller, just goes over your key, just like that, pulls it out, and you have your keycap off. So if you guys want to know how the keycap puller works, now, the cool thing is, is, since they have this little diagram, if you pull all the keys off to clean this board, you have the diagram to tell you how and show you where they go back, what direction, and all that cool stuff. Now, there are different color modes, and I'm going to put the keycaps back on, right? So, there are preset color modes that are preset into this key 
dashboard already. So if you use like function key, I believe it's going to be function and probably arrows up and down. Yep. Look at that. Look, look, oh, oh, look, look, all oh, functions. There we are. We're setting up different keys. Stuff for flashing and changing. Um, different color patterns. We have brightnesses, guys. The arrow keys is what's going to change the brightnesses in the light. So, guys, great little keyboard, nice little effecting. I like this. Now, you guys will see the uh, function keys and other color patterns. Uh, very cool. Very simple. Now, if you want to go into Bluetooth mode, you will actually have to change it around a little bit, up and on and off and on. Uh, it, that's another function uh, and all that stuff. So, great little keyboard. I want to thank you for checking out this quick little video, and I hope you guys have a great day.